What's up, YouTube? Capital G here showing you guys a Trickstar powered FTK that uh, is obviously pretty derpy. This is one of those plays that I really didn't think was possible anymore because you guys know that some time ago, Konami banned uh, seemingly random cards like Samsara Lotus and Phoenix and Cluster Amaryllis. When those cards were banned, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I didn't even know what Samsara Lotus was legitimately, but these were the plays that uh, those cards facilitated but turns out that you can still actually do them you just have to go a couple of different routes so let me go ahead and uh, show you guys this uh, duel and the uh, really the deck in action you know it's always going to be interesting when you uh, activate or when you have monster reborn reborn in your opening hand I think it's crazy you're playing a dedicated FTK deck and the first thing you do is desires <laughs> kind of feels like that's risky if you have any limited combo pieces that might be uh, a great way to just lose the duel uh, such as brilliant fusion would be one of them i mean what if brilliant fusion got banished this would have been obviously an instant loss anyways he's going to activate the copy of aroma seraphy jasmine i'm still dumbfounded why this card sees no play in the tcg i still think it is one of the most bonkers cards from the link frames pack one it's such a strong card and the things it can do with long far blossom because the card is at three are i mean it's very impressive anyways gonna combine that with baba boon he's going to go for the world child's miko i still think this card's broken summons one from deck goes for a couple of guard dragon plays not bad because those are just cards that facilitate um basically you being able to go into some of the extra deck monsters that you want to drop not the ones you're used to seeing this one is actually going to drop something different it's going to go for the gemini kind of facilitating uh fusion monster which you rarely ever see this card actually summoned from uh summoned from like agrapane but it does make things like gigaplant a lot better because the second you drop your gemini monsters their effects are immediately online so anyway star Yuja, so that now you can unload your hand. Special summons a Candina from hand. That's dope. <laughs> then gonna go for Trickstar Lily Bell. So the reason you have to use the Trickstar is the reason that he did that is because you do obviously have to summon Trickstar Cat back. This is part of the um it's part of the infinite loop. And this used to be used again with cards like Samsara Lotus and Phoenixin, Cluster Amaryllis, but you can still actually pull it off with a very obscure synchro monster. Anyway, summons Lone Fire Blossom. Now can go into Giga Plant. Since he does have the ally on field, this means that the uh, Giga Plant is automatically turned on, so he can just constantly reborn his monsters. And now another part of the combo is you do have to make sure that you go for Nightmare Cerberus because you are eventually going to make Topologic Bomber Dragon and you're going to be nuking your field over and over again, but you don't want the cat back and you don't want the Cerberus dying. Like, definitely you don't want the cat back dying. So this is the way to basically protect it is to link it to uh, co-link it with Nightmare Cerberus. Thus, it cannot be destroyed by the Topologic Bomber Dragon. So this is actually, well, it went so fast. There you go. This is actually the card, the Underworld Fighter Bamong. This is actually the card that causes the infinite loop. You don't need one of this. You actually need two copies of this. And then basically when you summon these guys, they will infinitely summon each other from the graveyard because keep in mind every time a monster is being summoned to a link point it is going to you know trigger the topologic bomber dragon effect so he now has the cerberus on field the bomong is going to destroy itself and he is going to get some burn damage from the cat back as well as burn damage for the trickstar light stage he's going to activate it again baba boon is just going to kind of float and blow itself up no problem basically he needs to make him or he needs to summon another one from his deck and then he will be able to use glow bulb go into the second copy and since obviously this is a five these card i feel like i feel like it was from was this from like world oh judgment of the light oh excuse me apparently it's a zexo card my bad <laughs> well regardless it doesn't have a hard once per turn on its effect so that's why the play started i was gonna say was it from like i felt like it was from some five d set like maybe stardust overdrive but no it turns out it's actually a zexo card and yeah once you get the once you get one on board or the second one, it will summon the first one, and then you just rinse, you rinse, wash, and repeat, and they will infinitely kind of summon each other, and you can actually burn your opponent. Yeah, this used to be done with Phoenix, with uh, with Amaryllis, the Phoenix and Cluster Amaryllis card. That's why that got banned in the TCG and in the OCG. And I believe again that this same exact play could be done with Samsara Lotus because Samsara Lotus was a card that could infinitely special summon itself. I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. 
I think Samsara Lotus is like Treeborn Frog. I think you might have to have no cards in your back row. So you might have to find some way to like get the Brilliant Fusion off the board. But I'm pretty sure that, uh, you know, with all of these plays, I'm pretty sure there would have been a way to get your own Brilliant Fusion off the board. But the point is, this play ultimately does work. Now, look, it's not exactly a fast, a fast FTK. <laughs> you can see he's only taking very small increments of 200 damage. So <laughs> it's not exactly the most time-friendly FTK in the world. If your opponent is actually going to be uh, you know a good guy and sit through this entire thing more power to them but it will ultimately kill them in the end because unless they have something that stops the Bramong from activating in the graveyard it just happens over and over again infinitely until your opponent runs out of life points so yep this is the play and uh you know it came came with uh no cards left in the extra deck i don't know if people noticed that but <laughs> you burn through your entire extra deck so your margin for error with this play is incredibly low not just no cards in the extra deck but only four cards left in the deck so if anything well i guess you don't hypothetically have to use desire so maybe that one's not as relevant only having four cards in deck because yeah pot of desire is basically ate up what like 13 cards by itself you activate the desires banish 10 draw two but the fact that it takes out your entire extra deck is uh that's definitely meaning that uh you have no backup plan if this doesn't work if your opponent uses something like effect veiler on cap back or on top of logic bomber dragon or anything like that man that took a very long time to actually go through i had to start randomly talking about stuff anyways let's pause for a quick second and check out the deck all right so here's what the deck looks like on paper you degenerates and uh man trick stars are is it me or is the uh, candina just becoming more and more prominent of a card it's just such a powerful card being a stratos for the entire trick star archetype the spells the traps everything as long as you normal summon her you are getting them pluses now i think that it makes sense for lily bell to be the other trick star card in here i guess hypothetically you could run carabane but uh lily bell makes more sense because if you just activate the trickstar light stage she's the only one that can just guarantee she can kind of drop herself on the field from your hand by her special summon ability and you need at least two trickstar monsters to you know summon the cat back so you're gonna have to run some trickstar cards everything else are, you know basically just combo pieces you're running a whole bunch of plants because all of these cards facilitate brilliant fusion and aroma seraphy jasmine also pretty strong cards for link climbing and you also have the giga plant so you're going to be able to use that as well everything else just spell cards you saw during the duel whole lot of different monster reborn cards whether it be world legacy succession monster reborn reborn which is excellent with like the plant cards really good with uh, lone fire blossom because once you use one lone fire blossom you're getting all three of them in the graveyard immediately and then even something like living fossil just you know a card that summons back something from the graveyard so so many different monster reborns of course the original og monster reborn you're not running traps because this is an ftk if you don't win turn one you are going to lose the duel and you know as long as we still have things like red metal darkness dragon and uh, some of these other powerful cards like so you just scroll dread kind of feel like plays like this will be around no dangers even required to pull off these spicy ftks just requires a very vivid imagination anyways hopefully you guys enjoyed the short duel if you did give the video a thumbs up thank you guys for watching as always subscribe if you have not already and turn on that notification bell for daily videos